All right, uh, I'd like to give uh, West Virginia a lot of credit for tonight. They came out and really set the tone early uh, with physical play, and you know we didn't value taking care of the ball uh, early in the game. But give those guys a lot of credit. They made shots early. Uh, they came out, you know, had a great crowd, and uh, they uh, competed at a very high level. Questions? Coach, their defense, you said you're, you didn't value the ball, so you had turnovers. Their defense, your mishandles? What, well, I think what a combination of both. I thought they, they, they definitely tried to go hard tonight, for sure, no doubt about that. Um, you know, they're not the kind of team that turns teams over, though. They're not a pressuring team, you know. So, um, you know, I'm not going to take anything away from their defense in regards to that. You know, we, we just have to do better, to, you know, taking care of the ball ourselves and getting shots on our turn. to sort of speak to the life on the road in the Big 12? Um, you know, it's, it's just never easy no matter who you play. Well, I think home or away. I think, uh, you know, on any given night, you gotta, you got to come and bring your A game. You know, uh, every night there's not a bad team in this league. Um, you know, got great coaching in this league. Um, you know, so you're going to have to come out every night and play your best basketball. You know, and you got to put everything into every game uh, that you're, you're playing, whether you're at home or on the road. Coach, I don't know how like far you go back when you're scouting a team, but Sumnick from West Virginia is obviously a guy who's been playing well, has a play much different than what he was earlier. What, what do you see when, when you're scouting him? Do you see a much different guy than, than maybe you, you saw previously? Well, he's the one physical guy on the, on the front line. I mean, you know, he's a guy that brings the physicality. You know, you go back to the Ohio State game, he was really active with offensive rebounds. and. We knew coming in 15 feet in, we had to match his physicality around the basket. And, you know, he took it to us early in the first half and had offensive rebounds, he dunked the basketball on us. So he set the tone with his physicality, and we didn't match it early. How much did it hurt him to sue foul down? Well, I mean, it, it always hurts if you have a starter that uh, uh, gets disqualified from the game and you don't have him on the floor, you know, in meaningful minutes. But, uh, you know, we had to continue to work and keep playing, playing the game. I thought Max continued to play at a high level uh, in terms of scoring the basketball for us. And, uh, but but any time you, you lose a guy, it always hurts. Was there any time down the stretch there when you were trying to get back uh, to within a basket or whatever, when you felt like you might have it going? And what happened that it didn't get there? Well, there were a couple of possessions where it could have went either way. I mean, in terms of a trap. And we get a steal here, there. You know, they they turn the ball in over, trying to inbounds the basketball. So, you know, you play it all the way, all the way to the end in terms of trying to uh, to make some things happen. Coach, uh, you meant West Virginia's physicality, the way you put it, uh, something they haven't always shown throughout the season. But so, does that kind of surprise at all, or do you almost kind of expect that from a team that's kind of back into the corner, right? Well, we try to take pride ourselves and try to be a physical team, you know, and uh, having a physical mindset. You have to have that in the Big 12. Yeah. You know, you're in and you're out. If you don't have a physical mindset, man, it's, it's going to be really hard for you. You don't have a mindset that you're going to sit down and really guard and try to put consecutive stops together. But, you know, we knew again uh, that uh, that uh, the big fella was going to be a physical player inside for us, and we're going to have to deal with that tonight. And uh, he, uh, when you have one guy playing that way, it makes everyone else feel like they can play with some toughness as well. Yeah. Okay. Any else, Coach? Looked like some of your defensive ideas to try to get the ball out of Crease's hands early, double him quick. And was that your idea coming in? And did anything else hurt you when he did give up the ball? No, we, we definitely wanted other people to have to initiate their offense. He's a guy that uh, initiates offense a lot for those guys, wanted to disrupt what they were trying to get done in terms of making somebody else uh, start the offense. We had, we had some success with that throughout the course of the game. And, uh, um, you know, again, any time you put a team on the line 41 times and we turn it over 22 times, it's going to be really hard for you. Thank you all. Appreciate that.